What a fantastic morning this was last night. Lovely and quiet. You can just about hear the motorway in the distance, which we're probably going to pass under later on today. Some locks just up there. Another set of locks just around the corner down there. Well, about a mile down there, I think. We had to uh, we had to pin in, which I don't really like doing, but it was okay. It was okay. So the front one I've used two pins across the pins over, and the back one, my rear pin is massive. It's huge, so I didn't need to worry about that. Anyway, let's get old Smokey started and uh, get going for the day, shall we? Lovely. the electric on with the washing machine running and it's making the engine work nice and hard. I'm not going to record every lock I go in and out of because I've got loads to do today. So you'll just get an edited snippet of what I do, bits and bobs here. Um, I, uh, this lock, I can leave the gate open because there's a boat coming down. So we're going to swap over in the pound and he will leave his gate open for me and I'll leave my gate open for him, hopefully. So let's see how it works.
talent is really shiny and polished and lovely and really dirty. <laughs> oh, it's filthy, it really is. I rode it in the rain the other day, so it's absolutely filthy now. I believe this is lock number five. Um, if it's not, I'll write on the bottom of the screen what lock number it is, but I'm sure it's five. Yeah, all good fun. Heartbreak Hill, don't you love it? That was indeed lock number five. There's a boat waiting to come in there and uh, a kind lady behind opened the gate for me. So we're going back up. Uh, we're just about to go into the M6 actually. So uh, we'll show you that in a minute. Yeah, five down. I think I've, I counted six or seven more I've got to do today, I think so, but we'll see. Okay, lock number six for us today. Um, this one's working again, so I've started emptying that also for the, uh, the couple in the boat behind. If there'd have been a boat coming, I'd have waited, but I couldn't see nothing. And I'll be at the top of lock in a couple of minutes, so I won't keep on waiting long. There we go getting out of breath now need to slow down in fact I think I'm gonna stop in a minute and have some breakfast or have a slow cruise to the next gate and have breakfast on the way or something Okay, so that's lock six done. And while we were in the lock, we went down and grabbed a cup of coffee. And I got me, I got me overnight oats out of the fridge as well. So I'm gonna let that warm up slightly, just so it's not freezing cold. But I don't mind eating it cold, that's all right. It's a warm day, so it won't matter. So uh, that's my breakfast and a cup of coffee sorted. And I'm gonna take a very slow cruise up to the next lock. Uh, and what you can see on the horizon is the M6. So let's have a look at that in a minute, shall we? Oh, the amount of times I've driven up and down that road there and looked at the canal and thought, how nice is that? And like I said on previous videos that I did like on the River Severn and places like that, I've driven over there so many times and looked down and thought, oh, it must be so peaceful down there. It must be so nice because you're flying past in a truck or a car or whatever. And when you're actually down here, it's not peaceful at all. Oh, as you can hear is the road noise. But 
that's another one ticked off the box the canal that I see from the motorway I've actually gone down and done it I'm not I've decided I'm not gonna rush I haven't mind you, I haven't really been rushing or, or now like you know going through the locks I've not really been rushing but um, hey ho It's a bit of a slow lock and I thought the paddles were open a little bit but nope just a very leaky gate we're at lock number nine now nearly at the top boat's not in sight yet so and the next lock is just here so I'm gonna walk up and empty this out because that pound looks very low so uh, let's go and empty see if, make sure no one's coming and then empty the lock and we can go straight from one to the other then can't we Without stopping. Did you fall over? You're okay. Did you bang your nose? I have that problem, but that's mainly because I've got a big nose. Okay, so there's a there's a boat coming down so I was gonna go and empty the lock but if there's a boat coming down I might as well wait a couple of minutes and just go in there lock when it's empty so save wasting water but I haven't wasted my time here on the on the, the lock landing though no. I've got yes more damsons never going in a crumble they will when I get back home so I've got to go home oh, falling over right I've got to go home um, tonight or tomorrow because Jazz is going for an operation tomorrow, Friday morning, and I'll need to be there to pick her up put her back in the car because she won't be able to walk very well when she comes out. So I'll need to um, lift her into the back of the car. So yeah, anyway. Right, onwards and upwards, up in the lock. Uh, and I'm thinking I might stop around here somewhere. Uh, somewhere I need to get the bike off, so we'll see, okay? Right, I think that's going to be the last lock for now. Um, there are, there is Armco just around the corner, so I'm going to sit on the Armco because it's looking very grey. I think we'll be uh, more up here for a, an hour or two. Might do a bit more later, but for now, I think I'm done. 